This is Julianne Condia, host of Rewritten. Thank you so much for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Hey everyone, welcome back to another week and another episode of the Food for Thought podcast. I am your host, Kylie Thompson. Thank you guys so much for joining me for once again another week. I just wanted to start off this episode by saying thank you to everyone that reached out to me. I did not expect the outpouring of love that I got from my listeners and friends and family over these last couple of days since the first episode since I went MIA for a couple of weeks went live and I'm recording this on a Thursday and it came out on Monday and I seriously woke up Monday morning with like 50 DMs from people that had already listened and that were reaching out and like that to me means everything. So thank you so much for standing by the podcast, even though it hasn't really been what I set out for it to be years ago when I started creating this, um, and for being forgiving when I went on a little break, and then just for letting me know that you still listen and that you still love me despite everything. You know, again, me being less than perfect, it's really comforting to know that You know, despite how I feel about myself, there are people out there that still support me and love me no matter what. So thank you guys so, so much. And speaking of last week's episode, I know that I talked about my struggle as a woman with getting UTIs all the time. I don't know. I got kind of into detail, but I found out that I have essentially three ureters, um, which is really weird and random. Um, But my doctor informed me that. So a normal body, you know, you have your kidneys, connected to your kidneys is your ureters. There's one on each kidney and then they connect to your bladder. So I have three of them, meaning that I have two on one side and one on the other, which is totally abnormal. Um, My doctor, when we did the scan of my abdomen and my bladder, was like, he was literally Googling things because he was trying to explain to me and to understand himself what my body was doing. Um... And I've had UTIs since I was, I got my first one in like kindergarten and I got it from like taking a bath with a new soap. Um, And so, I don't know, it's something that I've always struggled with, but 2020 has given me more UTIs than I feel like the average person experiences in their freaking lifetime. Um, But if you follow me on social media, you'll know that today I just got, this is not an ad, um, I'm just talking to you guys about it because I feel like you're all on this journey with me now, but I just ordered last week Eucora and it just showed up today. So I'm holding the box right here. Um... Eucora is a brand that, it's like a dietary supplement brand that is to target urinary tract infections and people that are prone to them or people that maybe have never had one or have had a couple and just want to make sure that they don't get them because they're the worst. So I ordered Target, um, which is a dietary supplement that is similar to like crystal light. If you drink that, it's like a little packet of powder. They have one flavor, which is the pink lemonade. I tried it this morning. So good, you guys. It was really amazing. And I really felt like, so the point of this Target drink is to flush out your urinary tract. And I drink a lot of water throughout my day. I drink coffee, water, tea. I'm always like sipping on something and trying to keep myself hydrated. And this Target, like, really did flush me out. Like, I was always running to the bathroom, and I felt like it was really working. And you are supposed to take it. I'm reading this right off the box. So, it says, drink Target after sex and anytime you feel like you need extra support. For some, that might be after exercise, when you're holding it in, sitting for long periods, or when you're stressed. Regardless of activity, we recommend drinking at least every three days to regularly flush the urinary tract, and you can drink it as often as needed, even daily. So, for my first, I did the monthly subscription. I ordered 10, and I am definitely going to up that to 20 because... I just really want to, I want to go all in with this. So I'm going to do it every couple of days and I want to have some packed away for when I'm traveling in two weeks. I just really want to make sure 
I'm like healthy, especially while I, I'm out on vacation in another state and trying to celebrate my friend's wedding. So yeah, I know this is something that none of you asked for, but I just felt like I needed to share that with you because so many of you reached out saying that you get UTIs very often as well. And even if you don't have my biological situation, which I'm assuming most of you don't, um, I would definitely recommend Eucora. It's something that I had discussed with my doctor, but he said he had heard nothing but good things about it and just to try it and see what happens because at this point with my internal situation and having three ureters, he kind of just told me it's going to be a long road for me. Um, So he just said trying whatever whatever I think could work is kind of my best option right now if I don't want to be in there every couple months with issues taking antibiotics because I know antibiotics really mess everything up. And for some people, for some women, taking frequent antibiotics can lead to yeast infections and other issues down there as well. So I'm just really trying hard to get myself right. I'm trying, I'm trying so hard, guys. I'm working on my mental health. I'm working on my physical health. I'm working on, I'm just working on myself. Um, so I know none of you asked for that, but you're getting it anyway. And if you order Eucora, let me know and let me know what you think of it. And I'm going to keep you guys updated on my journey. And I'm going to keep a tally of how many days I go without a UTI. It's going to be great. The next thing that I wanted to talk about, I'm kind of doing this all off the cuff because... I don't know. I was feeling called to record and just I really do just like to sit down in front of the microphone and be candid about my journey and talk to you guys about how I'm doing so that it creates a dialogue and gives you guys opportunities to write into me too and tell me how you're doing. I do enjoy that. And just in light of last week's episode, I know it was not heavy. Heavy is the wrong word, but just I was pretty serious. I feel like I like to have fun and be lighthearted on this podcast for the most part, despite talking about eating disorders. And last week's episode, I was just a mess. I mean, really. (laughs) Um, And that was coming off of like a three-week period of just being a complete shit show. So yeah, I, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am doing a lot better now. I know I mentioned last week I'm kind of on like a new, I don't want to call it diet, but like I am tracking my food and I'm tracking my calories and I just wanted to let you guys know that it has actually been helpful for me, but also keep in mind that I have been in active eating disorder recovery since about 2012. So it's been a very long time and a lot of work and a lot of trial and error to get me to this point where I feel comfortable tracking my calories. Um, But I've actually learned a lot. So I mentioned this last week too, but I am working with a friend that is a nutritionist and he is just a really great person because he's not charging me for any of this. (laughs) He's wonderful. Um, But I'm working with him on... I I do want to lose a little weight. I did gain some weight over quarantine. I'm just not feeling very happy and comfortable with my body. I'm feeling really bloated and uncomfortable all of the time. I have a lot of GI issues, which I had pre-quarantine, but now they've just really kind of skyrocketed. And I do feel like I'm in a place where I am okay with losing weight and I don't think it's going to be hurtful to my recovery journey. Um, So yeah, I don't know. I felt like I need to justify that, but I am just trying to lose a little bit of weight and he's helping me and I really, I'm feeling so much better scale aside and I really haven't been weighing myself quite yet, but we're just trying to get my metabolism back up because I was not eating enough. My body was in starvation mode. So we're just trying hard to get my metabolism back up and I'm really focusing on eating all the food groups and going to the gym. I'm I'm doing like four to five times a week, maybe six if... I'm not feeling, you know, lazy like I have been these last couple of weeks. But I don't know. This has been really good for me. The exercise is really good for endorphins. And I I just love being able to run and lift weights and move my body and prove to myself that I'm strong both physically and then a lot of the time while I'm working out, I remind myself how strong I am mentally too because, I mean, especially when I'm running, there was a time in my life where doctors told me, I'd never be able to run because my heart couldn't handle it. And so today I was on the treadmill and I was doing high intensity interval training and I would sprint and I love it, guys. Like there was one moment where I was on the treadmill today and I was running and I'm like, there was a time in my life that my body could not do this. And so I just, 
feel really good right now. I feel like my body and my mind and everything's just kind of, we're working out the kinks and we're getting the bad vibes out and it's been really good for me. So despite the setback that happened a couple of weeks ago with the dresses and the wedding and all that stuff, like, I just wanted to let you guys know that overall I am doing a lot better. I really, I feel a lot healthier mentally and physically too. And there were a lot of you that messaged me asking if the podcast was ending so I could focus on my mental health. And I don't think it's going to get there. Um, I, I really, truly, from the bottom of my heart, I hope you guys can tell by the sound of my voice, like I'm doing a lot better. And I don't think this podcast is going anywhere. I think it just might be shifting a little bit because I am working on myself still. And that was not the message that I felt like I was sending before. And that's something that I've dealt with a lot in my life in my my advocacy work is I present myself like I am recovered. I'm doing great. And one day you guys can get here too. But in reality, like I work on myself every single day. And I have ups and downs, just like you guys do. And there's no such thing as being totally recovered. And, like, I've said that in classrooms and on this podcast before, but I really think what happened a couple weeks ago made me realize that, like, it's true. Because, you know, when you say things and you're just like, well, that's true for them, but not true for me. Like, no, hello, that's true for me, too. And I think I needed what happened earlier this month to just like recenter me and make me focus on my health and my wellness and my my mental stability so yeah for those of you that were asking about me and the podcast and the future of the podcast I really don't know what direction it's going in at this point but I'm here and I'm doing okay and yeah I really I really don't know what this episode is going to be, but I think it's just going to be a little life update because everything a couple of weeks ago was just falling apart. And now I'm working on building it back up. And you guys are going to get a kick out of this because once I'm done recording, so it is 6.48 p.m. on a Thursday, I have a job interview at 9 p.m. So uh, I was drinking a coffee a little while ago because I'm like, I need to just be up and be like, ready to socialize at 9 p.m. when that's my bedtime. So yeah, I'm I am still employed, obviously, like I'm waitressing, but I am looking on doing doing some things outside of that as well. I'm working on my photography. I have that job interview tonight for I don't I don't even want to say it, but a promoter position at a nightclub. Um I know that it's COVID, but I don't think I'm starting right away. Um And let's be honest, I have to make money. So yeah, I am just kind of putting a lot of different things in my headspace right now that I can use to elevate myself and trying really hard to make my quality of life a little bit better because I think that was one big thing that was making me kind of spiral out of control for these last couple of weeks. So yeah, wish me luck on this interview, guys. And things are good. Please know that. I don't want any of you to worry because some of you did reach out and you sounded worried and that made me feel bad. Don't worry, please. I promise to be better about my communication with you guys and to just let you know when I'm not doing well. And that's something that I'm working on in every aspect of my life. Um, It's something that every single, if any of my exes listen to this, we all argued about this so many times because when I am struggling or when I'm going through it, I shut down. And I truly think that it was the end of the majority of my relationships. It was just that I couldn't communicate. And that would drive me apart from my partners and they would always end in that that tone. So I'm working on that in every aspect and my current partner is helping me with that. And I have some friends that are just like, helping me be a little bit more accountable in expressing my emotions because I'm very bad at that, or at least expressing them in the moment. I am very good at (laughs) talking about them after the fact when I feel like I'm okay, but sometimes it's good to talk about them while you're feeling them um, so that you can help 
process them quicker with people around you that can also work on processing that with you. So I'm working on that in every aspect of my life and I do want to bring it into the podcast as well. So I really, this is a short episode again, but I really think that's all that I have for you guys. I promise more episodes with actual real content are coming very soon. I just don't want to ghost you guys anymore. I always want to put something out. Um, So today is October 15th. Sorry, I'm looking at my phone so that I can find out what week there will not be an episode, and I promise I'm not having a mental breakdown. It's just uh, I'm going to a wedding, and I'm taking a little vacation that I so desperately need. Um, But yeah, I will be gone for a couple of days, so there will be no episode on Monday, November 2nd. So yeah. You guys will get one next week. Don't worry. Hopefully, it'll be actual real content that I produce. And yeah, that's what I have for you guys. Thank you so, so, so much for sticking with me and for being a supporter of this podcast. And I love you guys so much. I will see you next week.